Hi, this is Neil Isaacs. You are watching What to Expect When Selling a Business. And at this stage, we are almost there. We prepared to go to market. We went to market. We worked with buyers. We went under contract. We've done everything to satisfy due diligence. And here we are. It's time to close the sale. So here's the good news. If everything has gone as planned, closing should be the easiest part of selling a business. It is essentially signing a bunch of documents, getting paid, and then handing over some keys. Remember, on the day of the closing, you own the business typically until midnight, and it becomes the business buyer's business the next day. The truth is, all of your employees are fired that evening and rehired the next day, assuming all the employees are going to stick around. So there is a lot of paperwork that needs to be done. And, and I mentioned employees, closing day or the next day is the day that confidentiality goes out the window. In most cases, the announcement's made the day after closing or the evening of closing that the business has been sold. Many a business I've worked with has had huge staffs of people none of them knew that we were working for months and months. Even key managers shouldn't find out that the business is in transition unless absolutely necessary. It's really just the owners, their spouses, that should be clued in to the sales process. But at the closing, it literally is someone else's business. It's time to make the announcement. The It often happens the same day or the next day. The, the previous owner, which is you, and the new owner go to the staff. They make the announcement. They let them know it's going to be okay. And they talk to them about the transition. The transition has been negotiated as part of the contract of how much help the now previous owner will provide to the new owner. In general, we'll keep it at, we'll offer about two weeks when I work with my owners, but it could be two months, could be much longer if there's a lot of relationships and contracts that need to transfer over. But the new owner and the previous owner will work side by side during that contracted transition time until that's over. When the transition period is over, the previous business owner is free at last. He or she has been paid in full or they're on a payment plan that they've agreed to. The obligations of the business are now on the new owner. And outside of some bills that may have been accumulated before the closing of the business, the burden of the business has, has, pure, has completely been shifted to a new owner. Congratulations, you've made it, essentially. That is the closing and transition period. It's time, it's time to buy a new business, it's time to retire, it's time to relocate. The reasons for sale, it's time to execute on this. But there's more. I'm gonna wrap things up in our next video about what happens after, at the time and after you sell a business. But at this time, congratulations on closing your business. If this is something that you just accomplished, congratulations. If this is something that you're planning on, it's a major, major milestone and it's really exciting. So I, I hope that's been beneficial to you. This is Neil Isaacs with VR Business Brokers. We just talked about closing and transitioning a sale of a business. Thank you for watching.